Okay guys, welcome back to Ingenious Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now let's solve this problem from Hemostatics and the problem says that a force of having magnitude of 100 Newton acts along the diagonal of the parallelepiped determine the moment of force f about point a using ma equals to our b cross f so we are given the moment on um, this rb the position vector from a to b so and then we have to find the moment of this 100 newton force about point a and we have to use this rc position vector as a moment arm so to apply these two equations first of all we have to represent this force f as a cartesian vector so we can write this as we can say that this force f vector this is equal to the magnitude which is 100 newton times the unit vector from b to c since the line of action of the force is along this bc line right along the diagonal so we have to find the unit vector along this bc and we have to multiply the magnitude of this force f with the unit vector along bc so this is equal to we can say that this is 100 and the unit vector from b to c is the position vector from b to c divided by the magnitude of that position vector from b to c so this is 100 and we have to find the position vector from b to c so to find the position vector from b to c again we need to travel along the x y and z from point b until we reach point c so from b we need to travel 600 mm in the positive y direction so 600 divided by 1000 will give us 0.6 meters so 0.6 meters in the positive j so when we travel this distances we will reach this point a and then from point a we need to travel 400 mm in the negative x this is the positive x we need to travel this distance in the negative x and 400 mm is 0.4 so we can write that this is minus 0.4 i so we we travel this distance then this distance and then from here we need to travel 200 mm or 0.2 meters in the positive k that is in the positive z so plus 0.2 k so this is the position vector uh, from b to c along the diagonals so let's find its magnitude so its magnitude is 0.4 square plus 0.6 square plus 0.2 square under the square root 0.4 square plus 0.6 square plus uh, 0.2 square so this is 0 0.748 so this whole magnitude is 0 point seven four eight. and now 100 uh, 100 divided by 0 0.748 this gives me 133.689 so now this 100 divided by this is um 133.69 let's say and now we have to multiply this with each component right so we can write that this force f as a cartesian vector is 133.69 multiplied by uh, minus 0 0.4 this gives us minus 53.48 i then we have to multiply this with uh, uh, 0 0.6 this gives us plus 80.21 j and then with 0 0.2 so this gives us plus 26.74 in the positive case so this is the cartesian vector representation of that force f now to find the moment about point a the moment about point a is equal to r b cross f so first of all we have to find the um, position vector r b so the position vector is acting from a to b so we can write that r b is is only acting along the negative j direction this is in the negative j this is the positive y so this is the negative y so this will be uh, zero i since it is only acting in the y direction so its i component will be zero its j component will be 600 mm 600 
divided by 1000 will give us 0 0.6 so this is minus 0 0.6 j and its k component will also be equals to 0 so we can write that this is 0 k so this is the position vector from uh, a to b right this is the position vector r b so now we can find this we can use that determinant so this is i j and k so first of all we have to write the um, components of our b remember so this is 0 minus 0 0.6 and 0 and then the components of force f so this is minus 53.48 the i component of force f 80.21 the j component of force f and 26.74 the k component of force f so the moment about point a this is equal to so again we have to hide this and this and we have to take this product so this is minus 0 0.6 into this minus 0 right so this is minus 0 0.6 into 26.74 into i and then for j we have to hide this and this and we have to take this so this is 0 minus 0 so this is 0 j and this is 0 j and for k we have to hide this and this and this 0 minus this so minus minus 0 0.6 into minus 53.48 k so now let's simplify this this is minus minus 0 0.6 into 26.74 this gives me minus 16.04 i plus 0 j and this is minus into minus 0 0.6 multiplied by minus 53.08 uh, 48 so this is minus 32.09 k so this is the moment of that force f which is acting along the diagonal from b to c have a magnitude of 100 newton is producing this much moment and the the units are newton meter since the position vector is in meters this is in meters and the force is in newtons now we have to find the moment about point a as well so the moment uh, this was the moment about point b remember this is this is not ma okay oh this is the moment about point a using the position vector rb right and similarly we have to find again the same moment about point a this is the moment about point a using the position vector rc so rc cross that force f both of these uh, cross products will give us the same answer remember since we can find we can declare our moment on um, a any vector which is acting from the from the axis of rotation to any point on the line of action of the given force right so we can uh, declare infinite mainly moment arms for a given force f right we can say that uh, this this can be a moment arm for finding the moment about point a this can be another uh, moment arm so any position vector from point a to any point on the line of action of this force f will be the moment arm so now we can find the moment about point a so moment about point a is rc cross f so first of all we have to find rc so rc position vector so now as we can see that uh, uh, to find rc we have to travel from a to reach that point c so from a we need to travel 400 mm in the negative x so 400 mm is 0.4 so 0.4 in the negative i that is in the negative x so we will reach here and then we need to travel 0.2 meters that is 200 mm in the positive k so plus 0.2 k so we have reached point c so this means that there is no need to travel along the y-axis that is along the j since point a and c they are in the x z plane or they are in the plane 
point A and C are in the plane which is parallel to the axis that plane. So that is why there is no need to travel along the y axis. So this is plus 0 j. So now this is again we can use that determinant method. This is i, j and k and minus 0 0.4, 0 and 0 0.2 and the component of that force f are given here this is we have determined that so that is minus 53.48 80.21 and 26.74 both of these must give us this same answer so now this is uh, ma so for i we have to hide this and this so this is zero minus this minus 0 0.2 into 80.21 i for j we have to write this and this and for j we have to write uh, with j we need to write minus sign so this and this so this minus this so minus 0 0.4 into 26.74 minus 0 0.2 into minus 53.48 into j and remember with j we need to have minus sign right since it's the the j is in the first row and second column so so here we have minus sign with j now with k for k we have to hide this and this and this minus zero right so that is plus k minus 0 0.4 into 80.21 so that is with k so now let's find this minus 0 0.2 into 80.21 this gives us minus 16.04 minus 16.04 i so this is minus uh, minus 16.04 and this is minus 16.04 similarly uh, for the j that is minus 0 0.4 into 26.74 minus 0 0.2 into minus 53.48 so this gives us 0 right so this this is 0 and 0 minus 0 so that is we, that we can write it as plus 0 and similarly for k that is minus 0 0.4 into 80.21 so this is minus 32.08 this is minus 32.08 k so both of these are approximately equal this is 32.08 and this 32.09 this is the uh, due to the rounding of values right so we got the same moment about point a using two different moment arms or position vector so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for such more problems related to hebler statics